Hey YouTube! So you guys may have noticed I have a huge stack of books next to me and my TBR is a little empty. That is because today I am going to show you all of the books I have purchased in the last two or three months. She kind of big. Some of these I have read, most of them are still just stuck on that physical TBR. Let's start going over these before this falls over. Okay, so first we have Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. So this is the second book in the Empyrean series. The first one is Fourth Wing. Um, I got this version with the sprayed edges because I have the sprayed edges version of Fourth Wing, so I wanted them to match. I'm not going to go over what this is about because it is the second book in a series, so it might spoil the first one, but we have Iron Flame as our first book. Next is Annie Bot. This was my March book of the month, so I am a little behind. Um, Annie Bot by Sierra Greer. So it follows our character, Annie, and she is a robot. Our character, Doug, his like robot girlfriend essentially but ai um robot sounds cool okay next we have a court of mist and fury by sarah j mass i've already read this one and it is the second book in the actor series so can't really say too much about this one next we have the housemaid this one, um, it was literally downstairs in my mail room. People, like, leave stuff for free, and it was, like, in good, like, perfect condition, so I picked it up. So I will also need to buy the Housemaid Secret, and then the new one coming out, the Housemaid is Watching. So this one is about a maid, and it says the Winchesters don't know who I really am. They don't know what I'm capable of. And then it also says, I can pretend to be whoever I like, but I'll soon learn that the Winchester's secrets are far more dangerous than my own. So, I'm intrigued. I've heard like mixed reviews on this, um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to read a thriller. Then we have my April book of the month. Just for Summer by Abby Jimenez. Okay, so this one follows Emma. She has like a dating curse. Every guy she dates ends up finding his like true love right after they break up. And then she also meets this guy named Justin. So he has a curse too. So they make a plan that if they date each other, their curses will kind of cancel out. And this cover is just so pretty in summary. Like, are you kidding me? Then we have Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I am still currently reading the Chestnut Spring series, but I am so excited to start the Rose Hill series. And they're, they're kind of interconnected too, right? They're like the same universe. Because I remember I just read Powerless and they like stopped in Rose Hill. And I was like, wait, that book's coming out soon. Okay, this is a best friend sister romance. Okay, um, the guy is also a billionaire. I think this cover is so pretty too. It's pink, are you kidding me? It's so gorgeous. And like the first print editions have like the mountain on the side. And then like once all of them are released, it makes up like the mountain, like they all like flow together. So I think they're gonna look really cute on the shelves. Next, Aquar by Sarah Jamas. Again, I have already read this one. And since it's the third book, I can't really say what happens in here. But this one, I think is the last one of Feyre's point of view, which is kind of sad. And she's also so thick. That's insane. Okay, next we have Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I actually just finished this one the other day and I gave it five stars, so I really liked it. It's kind of 
I know it's a fantasy, but it's kind of giving historical fiction too because of the time period it's set in. But basically there's like a war between gods. So the main character Iris, her brother is going to fight in the war. She like writes like a letter to him that she would send. She just like puts it in the wardrobe and then it like disappears. And then she gets one back and it's from this mysterious person. We know who he is, she does not. Um, it is her rival at the newspaper place she works at. Yeah, so he starts writing back, like, anonymously, and then they kind of start a little romance, they start catching feelings, but she doesn't know it's him. Yeah, I really, really liked this one. So good. And now I have to read Ruth's vows. So good. Alright, next is Anna O by Matthew Blake. Okay, so it says, if you like... Jillian Flynn. Okay, sorry. Said I don't have enough space. I definitely do, so I don't know why I did that. But if you like Jillian Flynn or Alex Michaelides, you should like this. And I loved his Silent Patient. And I read The Fury, so I have high hopes for this one. Oh yeah. So this one is a thriller. It is about a young woman who commits a double murder, um, but in her sleep. She stabs two people to death in her sleep. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, so then she goes to, like, a psychologist trying to understand, like, why she did that. So they're trying to figure out why she, why is she killing people in her sleep. So I'm excited for this one. All right, next is Seven Exes by Lucy Vine. According to the magazine's dating column, there are seven people a woman will date before finding the one. The first love, the work mistake, the overlap, the friend with benefits, the mischance, the bastard, and the serious one. So she thinks like, oh, like this is just some silly article until she realizes each of her exes kind of fits those categories. Yeah, and then they have to find the one who got away. All right, next we got Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. This is the second, um, it's the second book in the Bellinger Sisters series, which is only two books, so I've completed that. This one just follows um, Piper's sister, Hannah. So she's working on like a movie and they are trying to find a different location. So she's like, actually, I know the perfect place. And she goes back to Westport, which was the setting of the first book. And then she ends up staying with this guy, Fox, who she kind of had a fling with when she was in Westport the first time. All right, then we got Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. This one's like literally so tiny, but this is the second book in the Rebel Blue Ranch series. First one is done and dusted. All right, we got like city girl and then like country boy. And the covers are like so pretty. All right, next we have the one I'm currently reading right now. This is The Feeling of Falling in Love by Mason Deaver. So this one, I think it's a YA, they're in high school. So basically our main character, Neil, he has this like friends with benefits, Josh. And then one day they're together and Josh tells them that he loves him. And Neil is like, okay. He literally just says, okay. So then they kind of like break things off. And Josh is like, but like, why? Like, he's kind of confused. Like, why did you not have feelings for me? They like had a pact that if one of them has feelings for another person, then they just like break things off like no like questions basically so neil says i am seeing someone else and i really like them which is a lie and he says he is into his roommate wyatt and um originally neil and josh were supposed to go to a wedding together Josh is still attending the wedding, but now Neil has to find another date. So he asks Wyatt 
and then yeah that's kind of as far as i got so far but yeah i'm excited to see how things turn out for them all right now we got geneva rose's new book home is where the bodies are these siblings their mother had just died and they are going through the house kind of cleaning things out and they see these vhs tapes and then one of them is like taped over and they watch it and their father is covered in blood and he's basically saying okay let's like get rid of this body so now they are like what now they're trying to piece together who their parents killed they're trying to figure out what happened here like do we go to the police like do we figure this out on our own and i i went to the book signing so i got this a day early and i got it signed and i got some cute little we got like stickers and a little poster and then she's signed as well um i have all of my geneva books signed she like always comes to nashville i have all of her books signed so i am excited to read this one all right next is when never comes by barbara davis this one was also just like left at my mail room in my apartment so this one is about christy lynn so she was married to a crime novelist named Stephen. he did die in a car accident turns out he was actually having an affair and his mistress had a child so christy lynn is like do i take the, the child like in because she is living in poverty with her great-grandmother currently and she was like a teenage runaway and the child of an addict and she doesn't want um the child to go like in the foster care system so she is like do i take care of the child all right and then we got another one from my downstairs mail room this one is after midnight by irena shapiro okay this one is actually kind of interesting Stranded by a raging hurricane, a group of strangers find themselves trapped at a grand antebellum mansion, now a boutique hotel. Novelist Callum Burke, also known for his historical bestsellers, is among the guests. The Oleander Plantation, the main stop on the research trip for his new book, while several couples from up north are in New Orleans to celebrate personal milestones. As the hurricane batters the house and the waters rise, Callum is found hanging from an ancient oak, murdered in the same way as the notorious villain in his most popular book. Cut off from the outside world, the guests soon realize that the murderer might strike again, and everyone at the plantation could either be the next victim or the killer. So, kinda like a whodunit. All right, last one. This is my May Book of the Month, The Return of Ellie Black by Amiko Jean. It's been 20 years since Detective Chelsea Calhoun's sister vanished. Ever since, Chelsea's been searching for signs, for closure, for other missing girls. The happy endings are rare in Chelsea's line of work. Then, a glimmer of hope, local teenager Ellie Black, who disappeared without a trace two years earlier, has been found alive in the woods of Washington State. Only something isn't right with Ellie. She won't say where she's been or who she's protecting. Now it's up to Chelsea to find answers before it's too late, for herself and for the memory of her sister, but mostly for the next girl who could be taken, and who, unlike Ellie, might never return. All right, those are all of the books I have for you today. I will definitely be making more of these because I can't stop buying books you you know you know the drill um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time